In this video, I'm going to talk about the three things that will help boost your team's ability to be innovative. Let's go. Teams at innovative companies can do three things that often teams at non-innovative companies cannot do. So these three things are super important. These are the three keys if you want your company to be able to innovate. Number one is your team needs to have problem solving skills. They need to have systems for solving problems. Number two, they need to have decision making skills. They need to have systems for making decisions. It can't just be something that's intuitive, they need systems. Number three, they need systems for idea generation and idea validation. That's number three, systems for idea generation and idea validation. If your company and if your teams, if they have systems to plug into that allow these skills to be used, then your company is gonna automatically have a much better way of creating new products, of coming up with new ideas, of capturing them, of validating them. If you have any questions about how to build up your team's innovation skills, do ask them down below in the comments. We answer every single comment. All right, back to the video. So how do I actually do that? What's the way that I can give my teams these three things? There's one book in particular, which we talk about all the time on this channel, which is a great kickstart to learn these three skills. And that book is... <laughs> I just thought someone would read my mind. <laughs> and that book is, and no surprise here, that book is Sprint. Now, Sprint, and honestly, if you've been watching this channel for the last three years, you'll be like, oh yeah, John, like, I mean, obviously it's Sprint because you're always talking about Sprint. But the reason that we're talking about this book the whole time and the reason that this process is so popular is, and especially with companies looking to innovate, is that it really is a step-by-step -step system for bringing teams together and solving big problems fast. And it has these three core skills built into it. So if you want your teams to be able to solve problems quickly, make decisions super fast, and both generate and validate ideas, what you need to do is teach them systems like the design sprint. Now, how can they learn systems like the design sprint? Well, there's infinite ways of learning it. Number one, get them this book. I didn't write it. We don't get any money if you buy this book. This is like $10 per employee. Get them this book have them read it, and have them take some of the elements and learnings from this book and apply it to their day-to-day -day work. This book really contains everything you need to hit on those three skills so that your team, in the end, can actually work faster and innovate faster. Number two, go for the more intense hands-on route and have a company train you in design sprints. There's one trillion companies out there who will train you and your team on exactly how to use this process. This is a fantastic way of just getting your team right into the thick of exactly how to run a process like this. And during the training, they'll also be able to ask the trainers, how can we apply this to our business? The third way of doing this is a little bit more tricky, but I've seen it work really well, and that's having your employees visit other companies who are currently running sprints to show them exactly how that works in real life. Now, I would definitely recommend options one and two first because they're the things that you can control the timeline on, and you don't have to worry about things like NDAs, but really visiting other companies who are running sprints and visiting other companies who are already succeeding using a process like this is a fantastic way just to prove to yourself and prove to your teams that these things are really empowering skills for your teams to have. So for me, those are really the three steps. You can, and, and they can all be done individually or they could all be done together. If you're watching this video and you got this far, I'm gonna tell you a lot of free ways to do this. Um, and and that, those free ways are basically using the content we've been creating for the last three years. So our YouTube channel, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We're always creating new videos about how to run design sprints. You can go back through three years of videos on how to run all of the different exercises. You can check out workshopper.com. Workshopper.com is our like public facing uh, blog with all the different exercises that we're coming up with every week. Um, we've got a podcast called Jake and Jonathan. That's me and the author of Sprint. Every Monday we've got a new episode of the podcast and we're often talking about these innovation processes. So another way you can learn is going to the AJ and Smart LinkedIn page. AJ and Smart, by the way, we're an innovation studio. We do this sort of training and you can learn from us for free on our LinkedIn, on our YouTube, everywhere. So all I'm saying is having these three skills 
Your team having these three skills is a great way to really empower them to be able to do this type of work. And often one of the issues for teams is that they're going around in circles because they don't have systems. They don't have ways to execute projects besides the standards for execution, like agile, things like that. But they often don't have systems for solving big problems and starting projects. And the Sprint is a great system for that. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a short one this week. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like. If you have any questions about the design sprint or any sort of innovation training, let us know down in the comments. As I said, check out our LinkedIn or podcast where it's free content all over the internet, all over the digital landscape. That sounds a bit too deep. And uh, see you here next week. How can my company innovate? How can it co how <laughs> Companies often ask us, how can I get my teams to innovate? How can I get my... How can I make more? <laughs> I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Imagine if all of this was in and it's 20 minutes of me <laughs> not, just, it's me, it's not, it's me time. not wasting any more of your fucking time. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste any, I'm not gonna waste, a, I'm not gonna waste a second of your time here. I'm gonna give you the answer right up front. Equip your team with the tools and the skills. Imagine if you didn't do any graphics there. I'm not gonna waste a second of your time. The answer to the question of how can your company innovate? I'm not gonna wait, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. There's three things you need to do to get your company to a is being trained in the relevant fucking. It's hard to really, it's hard to um Okay, I've got a better fuck. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I'm not gonna waste any more of your fuck! We wasted so much time. I'm not gonna okay, who, who, who? I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Okay, I'm not gonna waste a minute of your I'm not gonna waste any more of your fucking time. <laughs> um, so, okay. okay <clears throat> I'm gonna do the whole fucking video, right? Let's just do it in a one hour. Okay. Uh, I'm not no more cuts. No, no more cuts. You're gonna have to no you're gonna have to work with me, by the way. No more time wasting. This is what it's like. Okay. Hey. There's um Every Monday, we're pumping out different versions of the podcast. Um, that's such a stupid thing to say. Uh, uh, every, <laughs> every Monday. Every Monday, we're pumping out. Fuck. <laughs> Let me do the fucking end of the video. Wait a second. Okay. Okay. Um, thanks so much for what? Okay. Should we do it once more? It. This is going to be the biggest blooper reel. This is going to be 90% blooper reel.